help me wash? I'm Mark Ramsey. I'm an Audi e-pilot. I was uh, given a car for the last three months, an Audi A3 e-tron, to drive and uh, to try it out and see how it fit my lifestyle. I have a passion for cars. I'm a car enthusiast and I like these I iconic collector eclectic cars. It's like a regular A3. It's pure electric. It's pure electric. It's full on tour. It's, full on, yeah. it's like zero to 60 in 10, 11 seconds. Really? New cars are great, but I think old cars, um, there's, there's a lot more of a story behind them. This is a 1973 Volkswagen Super Beetle. Uh, my grandmother purchased this new. It uh, means a lot to me. This is a 68 Vespa GT. It's awesome fuel economy. At one point I used it uh, for a daily driver about five years ago for a year. Um, I would fill it up about once every three weeks. Despite the car enthusiast interest that I have, I think I'm actually a very typical household in how we use cars. I've done everything with the car. I drop my kids off to school, pick them up. I drive it to work every day. Today I picked up some two by fours. I found my life's pretty predictable. E-tron, it fits perfectly. I thought it was gonna be a challenge not having the completely flexible gas car, but it hasn't been an issue at all. I have two young daughters. They seem proud that we're driving this car. I think they sense that it's a good thing. It doesn't make any smoke and it is really good for the environment and birds really like the environment. Hey, a grasshopper. What will my kids be driving when they're 16? They won't be driving a 1968 Vespa, for sure. In the future, I could absolutely imagine them driving an electric car. We can't just keep doing the same things what we've been doing, we've got to get smarter. Something like an e-tron and electric cars of the future makes, makes a lot of sense.